right, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset. Era. <laughs> All right. And as you can see with the title, we're bringing back Baby, Baby Metal. Metal. A lot of you suggested after we checked out the Doki Doki Live version at Legend MM that we should be checking out the original music video. That's right. Apparently, it's like one of their debut videos or they first came out. Um, I think we uh, we read in some of the comments that apparently they actually do use it as their alarm in the morning. Several people have commented that. It was really funny to see that. So. That is good. I think it's an appropriate song to use as an alarm clock. Absolutely. You know, it's not, you know, blaring like, ah, 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 you know, like. <laughs> Like, if you are going to wake up to music, it's, you know, something, it's it's good that it's something that's, you know, up that's upbeat and, you know, fun and catchy. It helps you get in the spirit of the day. So, yeah, the original music, music video on their channel. It's from, like, 11 years ago. Holy crap. 31,000 million, 31 million, million views. 31,000. It might as well be 31,000 million. million. <laughs> Uh, they do look like they are in the U.S. They're going to be on, t yep, November 5th. They're going to be in Orlando. And then November 6th, they're going to be in Davie. Okay. Summit of Hard Rock Hollywood. All right. A few Good. more U.S. dates as well. Let's see what some of these comments say here. This is what happens when you try to summon Satan, but you run out of salt, so you make a pentagram and substitute it with sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can't make metal cute. Baby metal. Hold my milk carton. <laughs> I was 10 years old when I first heard them, and now I'm 18, sure passed by so fast. I remember singing and dancing to their song, still loving them. Oh, nice. I don't know how anyone can listen to this and not instantly be in a better mood. It will always be one of my favorite baby metal songs. All right, good. Well, we listened to the live one, and it was a lot of fun, so. It was. America, metal is for satanic people and is evil. Japan, haha, cute metal. <laughs> I really enjoyed the reaction of my three and a half year old granddaughter watching this video with me. She loved it. Next generation of baby metal fans, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I'm definitely not ashamed to say that I learned the entire dance to the song. Her, he's probably cheating. Me, dancing to this vid at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can go and jump into this I one. I got a feeling there's going to be dancing involved. I'm sure there is. It's baby metal after all. And for anyone jumping in with us for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. We have an extensive, extensive playlist of baby metal reactions from, from a very long time of us doing this. Exactly. So uh, sit back with a bag of popcorn and a nice cold one and have yourself a good weekend for Should it. Should be fun. But if you're not new to the channel... You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for... The Glorious... The Epic... Transition! <laughs> Alright. A lot of you guys said we gotta check out this video, uh, specifically about how much younger they all look in this video. Yeah, like, like, doing, like doing some Snapchat and seeing some snapshots of the video, it's like, wow, they really are babies. They are babies. And that, kind of the way that this video comes in, it kind of only comes in like a like a little children's show or something. It's kind of very funny. They really leaned into it back then. But Alright, here we go. The original version. You guys asked for it since we just did it last week. We might as well. It's still fresh in our minds. Let's see what how this sounded originally. <laughs> it reminds me of like Blues Clues or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, like how they're all Remember three years ago when Steve Burns came back and addressed the nation? Yep. Okay. A little lower or fi on the. Audio here. A little bit lower. Yeah. Ooh, it's got like an industrial kind of backtrack. Yo! All those keyboards or whatever. This is way different. Yeah. Not nearly as raw and as heavy. Um, and the techno thing in the background, that wasn't there before. I don't think in the industrial electronic techno edge. Yeah, that wasn't in the live performance we just checked. Yeah. Or whatever it is. I'm doing the skeleton band still. 
this pre-chorus i'm noticing there's like a like a japanese flute uh in the chorus and i don't i don't remember hearing that in the original track maybe there was one in there but i didn't quite catch that mm -hmm. but i mean i'm seeing it a lot here uh the way it was put together i think there was very it was very intended to be like hey this is a, a very accessible way to listen to like yeah this group or this band or introduce them to the public or whatever yeah, a good way to introduce the public to a have, you know to a, a different way a different presentation of it, it still makes me wonder though like seeing how young they are here especially with at least sue and yui still being at it right now in their 20s like did they ever see themselves going that far with it you know because that's a good question you know because at, at some point i mean yes they're young here which baby usually refers yeah. to young people babies honestly uh and they're no longer babies at this point they're young adults so i wonder how long they plan on keeping that aesthetic like are they going to be 40 50 years old doing baby metal like how's that gonna work, work if it works it works for them i mean are they going to involve are they going to change the name at some adult point? metal like, adult baby metal or <laughs> teenage metal teenage metal. <laughs> well at this point they're past their teens yeah. right they're actually adult metal called? yeah adult at this geriatric point. metal but the metal or something i don't know i don't... <laughs> i'd be curious what you guys think about that and like if they've ever been asked that i'm sure somebody has interviewed yeah. them and asked them that like hey did you realize that you know did you ever imagine you'd be doing this ten you know like for yeah 11 years know, later yeah right or over 10 years later whatever 10, 11 yeah that's crazy i mean that's because I mean, when you're a kid and you're going through this you evolve like when you're young you change and you evolve and you become something different and the things that you like today may not be the things that you like in 10 years especially when you're growing up and learning about the world yeah you know there are so many things that i probably don't do anymore because i just lost interest in them like, like art or some sports i used to play and stuff i just decided it wasn't for me you know, so I wonder at that point, you know, and I think that's probably what may have happened with the uh, the other member that decided to leave. Maybe that was just not for her. But I think a lot of people said it was something else. It was health related. But anyway, tangent. Here we go. Oh my god. 
Wow. I just can't imagine like hearing that for the first time and having zero context. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? All right, let's flip back over here. <clears throat> All right. You guys asked for it. And you got it. You got it. The original version of Doki Doki Morning by Baby Metal. The world's most awesome alarm clock song. <laughs> you guys said there was also like a music box version of this, which I really? haven't seen. Or I mean, I did a little research looking for this, but I didn't really find uh, any of the music box version. So if I guess if there is a third version of this, we should be comparing this all. I through. think so. You guys got to leave us a link and let us know, it, even if it's if even if there's any kind of interest at all for it. If there is, again, we'll check it out. We've done the three. <laughs> it'll be the first, won't be the first time we took out to checked out multiple versions versions of the same song yeah i think it was appropriate in this case because you guys really got to see you know especially if you last last our video last week and then watch this uh there's huge difference right i mean they evolved as yeah. a as group obviously the, vo the vocals are probably deeper and reach richer but now i really like the live band of course i would prefer that and i'm sure they've had they've had 11 years to kind of come up with a really solid way to playing it live and yeah uh, you know, you know, there's there's other things to account for too. Different musicians, of course. Um, so depending on who was, I don't I don't recall who played the which which band or which which commie band they were using uh, for that performance. But I imagine they're not the same players that actually played on the record. Uh, I mean, if that's the case, and that's pretty incredible. But I I would imagine after ten years, they probably found a, a live band that would just play the songs. As far as I know, you guys can correct us on that. Uh, but yeah, we love Baby Metal. If you guys want to check out more, make sure you comment on this video or go to our community tab on our channel. Yep. In the meantime, we are Offset, Offset Era. Era. We are two-thirds of Offset Era, Southwest Florida's premier three-piece punk core act. We have an extensive playlist of all of our original music, available on all digital streaming platforms as well, if yep. you're curious as to what punk core entails and how we sound. We just put out an EP a couple months ago called a Top, Top Shelf, Shelf Villain. Villain. Make sure you go and check that out. It's available on all digital platforms. We also made a music video for Top Shelf Villain, the title track for the EP. It's available to view on our YouTube page and as part of our playlist. Right. Uh, and if you're interested in following the band, make sure you go and do so. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course YouTube. Yeah. And we have a Patreon channel that you have the option of supporting. That's right. Now we understand living is expensive anymore. So none of you are in any way, shape, or form obligated. It's completely up to you. But any, any and all support on Patreon, we sincerely appreciate. Yes. And we're working on building up some uh, content to make it worth your while. Yeah. Anytime a, a video gets a copyright blocked and i have to obscure the video to make it go through whether it's chopping it up or whether it's putting you know the offset arrow logo spinning around we do those unedited videos we put them on patreon so if you are a patreon member you have access to those videos we also allow you to uh, direct message us and put in some suggestions um, so feel free to do that and uh, if we let those kind of filter to the top of our suggestion list every week so that's right that's what you can get if you go on patreon you can always consider um putting your comments in the videos and on the as we mentioned many times on the video under the community tab but if you want a prioritized uh, suggestion you can do that's it that's what page goes for yep but that's it for this video thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing let us know what you want to see in the next one and we'll see you then we'll see you there peace out